A hellish hello and Halloween greetings from If. Today, let's take a look at the spooky holiday and ask if we should be celebrating or hiding when October 31st rolls around. The holiday originally began in the 8th century. It was the day on which people feasted before the important religious festival of All Saints Day. It was first named All Hallows Eve, but as the years have passed the name has changed to the familiar Halloween we use today. The day was a time to eat, drink and be merry in celebration of the Christian saints. This day was celebrated on May 13th, but in the year 1000 Pope Gregory III chose to move the holiday to November 1st. Christianity was on the rise through the Celtic tribes of the UK at that time and the Pope thought that the church should create a sanctioned holiday near the Celtic Day of the Dead, a festival known as Samhain. Samhain is a 2000 year old celebration of the Celtic New Year. It was the beginning of a new season and a time for them to start their harvest. This led to it being associated with the cycle of death and new beginnings. The celebration of the holiday began the night before. They believed the ghosts returned to the earth at this time. Bonfires and dressing up as well as making sacrifices to their gods were part of the holiday fun for the Celts. Samhain came into contact with another holiday when the Roman Empire clashed with the Celts after the Roman invasion of Britain. Rome conquered the Celtic lands. The holiday then became mixed with the traditional Roman festival of Feralia. Feralia also celebrated the dead and Pomonia, the day the Romans chose to honor the goddess of fruit and trees. Folklorist John Santino said, there was a belief that it was a day when spirits of the dead will cross over into another world. Professor Nicholas Rogers has a different opinion. He says there is no hard evidence to prove that the Celtic holiday really was a celebration of the dead. According to the ancient sagas, Samhain was the time when tribal peoples paid tribute to their conquerors and when the Cid, ancient mounds, might reveal the magnificent palaces of the gods of the underworld. However, this festival is seen today through the lens of our modern beliefs and it is the night the spirits once again get to walk the earth. Paganism is on the rise. A United States Census Bureau abstract on self-identified religious populations reports the number of pagans and Wiccans witches, combined to give a result of 0.3% of the population, which means that 3 out of every 1000 people you meet will be a pagan or a Wiccan. These religions survive after thousands of years of persecution from the Roman Empire and the Holy Roman Church. Pagans were executed by crucifixion, put in the first death camps and tortured to death, later burnt and drowned as witches. These horrific acts seared into the consciousness of the people of that time and are still with us today. Traditional Halloween decorations depict ghosts and ghouls and skeletons all reflecting the celebration of the dead and of course the famous images of witches and their black cats all to remind us of the evils of the non-christian religions. This history may be why the holiday is so popular in the US today. Irish and Scottish immigrants brought their traditions to the US during the mid to late 19th century and that is when Halloween began spreading throughout the country. Up until that point it was not considered a major holiday. Celebrations of the holiday were mostly held in Maryland and in Southeast Colonial America. Today the holiday is huge. So where do other traditions come from like pumpkin carving and trick or treating? Well carved out pumpkins are actually a modern interpretation. The first jack-o'-lanterns were made from turnips. They weren't meant to be works of art but rather a means to keep away any unwanted guest. There is an Irish folk tale about Jack O'Lantern. The story says that he was a man forced to roam the planet for all eternity. He had fooled the devil and was not allowed into hell. Jack or Stingy Jack wasn't allowed into heaven either. Instead he lights his way at night by carrying a turnip with a burning coal inside. The Jack O'Lanterns were carved out of turnips until these Irish and Scottish immigrants got their hands on pumpkins in the US and decided they work just as well. So that just leaves trick or treating. 
and this is probably the most interesting of all. Let's turn down the lights and crank the volume up. This is where the true meaning of Halloween comes into play. The story of trick or treating goes back to the ancient Celts. This is when they would I am so so sorry. Trick or treat. Have a happy safe Halloween. If you are not of the spirit world please spookily press that like button. If you are a fearsome fan of the channel please hit that horrific red sub button. Watch out for them ghouls and monsters and if you survive the Halloween horrors I will see you next time.